from the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. It's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Pow. Pretty good there so far. Daddy. She's straight up and down, buddy. Like that. What? Oh. It fell I, off. No, no, no. It didn't fall off. I pinched it off. Uh, don't go over in there. Y'all can't go over in there. Back up. Yeah, I'll back I'm up. Keep this baby. Yep. I'll keep up and this is Okay. So let's we'll see here what we got going on. This little baby yeah. got dead. She's looking pretty good, ain't she? Uh, this long stem looking good. That one out there is looking good. Yeah, looking good. I have this little baby. Looking good. All right, watch out. She is looking good. Okay. One that doesn't look good. She looks. Oh, that's it. It's real good. She's like on it. I found it. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, looking good. All these are looking good. Right, go around down here and take a look down here. and hay, I think they're doing up there today. I think they're tettering. They're looking good. So, either that or they're the bailing. Oh, it looks like they're bailing. Oops. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're bailing it up. Huh. Awful quick. Maybe I missed this. I missed the day when they tettered it. It's pretty fast. <laughs> Yeah, wait, Bob. All right, yeah. well, anyhow. Yeah, I like the roots of it Yeah. Plant looks good here. Yeah, way I mean, good. How's it just, It is what it is. It's just kind of chugging along there. What? So definitely, yeah. it's starting to look better. Yeah, look, if you look at me. that half of the plant down there. It's starting to look. Uh, hey, now, get off the board before you fall onto my okay. plant. It's I'm already hurt enough. It don't need you two coming out here and okay. killing it off. Um, I'm on the board too. But I see a pumpkin why right there. Jumping, Daddy? I'm not jumping, Kira. I'm walking. You get off the board. Get off the board, baby. Dada. So I see a pumpkin out there. Of course, we're oh, not going to pollinate that. That plant is roughly yeah, get out there. 14 foot place. long. I have to Maybe a little more. Away, if we had some more secondaries going like this... Man, we could we could pollinate pretty soon, but we don't have any. No, baby, it, I pinched it off. We didn't want that one. I took it off of there. Okay. All right. Let's take a look over here. Today, I think I'm going to just make some walking boards and get out there and and start to stake these plants down the proper way and stand some of my tomato plants up and put some stakes on them and, and, and just get everything kind of stood up. I think is what what we're going to do today so uh i love you too baby but we're just kind of looking around at everything um, i think i'm going to start pitchforking these back and let them fill in all this right here on this side like all these side vines over here on the back 
or on the sides up here. I'll just kind of pitchfork them and get them as <clears throat> as best as I can. Um, got another pumpkin right there, getting ready to open. Probably tomorrow on the 1883 Bayouk. So, um, yep, Bayouk. Yep. Uh, oh, something keeps coming through and pulling my my sticks up. My, my, my things that mark the plants on what they are. Super aggravating. This thing here is laid down. It needs stood back up like so. so I'm going to have to work on that today as well. Oh, fix yourself. There you go. Plant those looking a lot better. It's starting to get a little pale up here though again. It's green back there, pale up here. And it looks like some burn maybe from where it's coming out from underneath the, the uh, <coughs> no, 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 you're not. You stay right there. Um, huh. I have to put a little something on here, some magnesium and some calcium. We'll feed it some cow mag either today or tomorrow. So go around here, take a look at these other plants quickly and uh, start building some, some walking boards. 1347 Rotoba. What were the baby daddy? It's, I don't know, it might come out of its, out of its issue there. I think it might, but I'm not sure. And the 1965 Rotoba. We need to bring him just over a little bit, like that. Let him do his thing. They're still climbing right here, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Babe, there's nothing you're gonna do with that. that that's, once I pinch them off, that's it, they're done. Me and you got, we got some down here, Rowan. Yeah, on your plant. Huh? Yeah, there's a female on yours, but it's not ready to pollinate yet. Man, that's 1888 bayou. It's just crazy fast growing. And it's it's like the, uh, starting to look like that Schmidt plant, like at uh, 2261 Schmidt had babies all over that thing. And that's what this is doing. Because we don't need it, baby. We don't need all those baby pumpkins. We only need one. That's all we need. That plant is really looking good. I'm, I'm very impressed with this plant. I uh, got a good looking one over there. That's the uh, 950 Cook. That's Annie's plant. It's small, but it's it's trying to chug along there. She's get out here and pick all the blooms off of it. She's got a secondary there. Needs pinned down, I see. Right there, and another one there. Just needs to start to be trained. Y'all got to get out of here before you step on the plants. Yep. Yep, they're important. Yep, they are. Need to get here and weed everything. He's weeded bad. He's in here. Shay. Where's he? Where are those at? See what I'm talking about? They just come and they pick them up and drop them or whatever. I don't know what they're doing with them, but they're a little nuisance. I'm about to find that and put that back. This there needs pinned back down. We done picked it up and messed it up, so we'll have to fix that real quick. All right, let's get to it.
guys, so that's how you make the walking boards. You just cut some wood, you know, four by fours or these timbers like this, um, like these because they're flat. You can also use those round poles, like I got extras of those fence fence poles. You just gotta watch when you do it because they're round, so you ain't gonna have a flat surface to nail or screw down to. You need to, yeah. Um, so. You know, you, you just have to watch that when you screw it or nail it down. But the round the round poles will work too. Just whatever you got. You just want to get the board up off the ground because as you walk on that board, you're going to continuously compact the soil. So it would be better if the the board had something to stand up, you know, four inches or so off of there. Last year I used center blocks. I was going to use them this year as well, but it, it, it costs so much to get the center blocks and, and to move them around and stuff like you need to throughout the season it's really just becomes a, a, a really big hassle where these i made them short enough i made them four foot long except for that one there because if if i was it would have been like two foot extra is what i would have had left anyways it just makes more sense to um go on ahead and cut them at four foot you can move them easily you know and and uh you ain't got it's not such a chore you can get them four four inches at least off of the ground and so it, it only gives it two points of contact which of course it's probably going to compact there at those two points of contact but it's better that it compact there than the whole board as you walk over that entire board right because every time you walk across that board you're compacting the soil so you want to try to elevate the uh, the walking boards up off the soil just enough to be able to um get whatever you know get it done or to allow plants because sometimes you're going to have plants growing underneath them last year i had uh, several of my plants growing underneath my walking boards. Of course, I had the center blocks there, so center blocks was a big help and allowed me to do that. I don't know that I'll be allowed to grow underneath these because they will squish down into the soil some, but um, I, I, it should be able to, to, to at least move them and do what I need to do. So we're going to get these laid out, and uh, we're going to show you what they look like once they get laid out. So show you what we got going on here you can see the walking boards and uh and how they allow you to you know walk around your plants without stepping on the ground see and they're nice and they didn't really sink that much oops come on fix yourself there you go they didn't really sink too bad so i can walk around here pretty good and uh still stay up off the ground you can see you can see that pumpkin right there, and I don't believe it's going to do anything, so we're going to pull it off of there today. And, uh, again, what in the world? See, something comes out here and pulls these up. I don't know what it is that keeps pulling them up, but I guess it's crows or something. I don't know what they are. Something's pulling them up, and it's aggravating me. Yeah, you're doing good, baby. Good job. All right, so, over here on this plant, I got this one that was pollinated the other day. I'm gonna pull it off. Nice five labor. Yeah, a nice five labor. Just too bad it's on a very small plant. But we can get around on this plant as well and do what we gotta do. I'm gonna aim this this way some more. I need to, it's trying to curl on me there. I don't want you going that way. You gotta go this way, buddy. Just like so. Here we go. Got her staked out there now. She's starting to do pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping this plant turns around for me. It's a 2350 Ginger. I think she will, and I think that 1883 Bayou will as well. I think they're both well on their way to getting bigger. Sorry about that. The gimbal takes times. It just goes crazy. Uh, anyhow, got to stake tomato plants up today and stake out our secondaries. And then... Um, bury some vines so we're gonna get that done and uh on to the next all righty dotty guys we uh, got those boards done and then we shot the second part of the video today so we're gonna put up the video in two pieces the one part you're gonna see tonight and then the other one you'll probably see tomorrow morning uh, but this part is all about making walking boards how i done it how i use them um so enjoy that I hope it uh, helps you guys to make you some good walking boards. You don't need no special lumber. Go to go somewhere, get you some rough cut, find a big lumber pile that somebody's got stacked up out in front of their house that you know they ain't using. Go buy and offer them to, a little bit of something for it or ask if they'll even give it to you. Um, 
you don't need to make it you don't need to buy lumber for this there's plenty of lumber i'm sure around your area somewhere somebody's just dying to get rid of and out of their yard all right so see if you can get it that's how i got the stuff that i got to make those walking boards um dad gave me the the lumber for the uh the timbers rather for uh the raised beds and that i had some of those shorter pieces left that i know i wasn't going to use so i cut those up to uh to make my my four inch lift and then i used the boards that we got from van and allen this past winter i used those to cut to four foot long pieces and uh and make that the part that i walk on and they, they work perfect you'll see them in the other video today or tomorrow morning rather um, and they're working great they're doing great I have no issues with them so anyways guys we appreciate you watching we hope you found this uh valuable and uh, we'll see you tomorrow right here in the hollers and hills of west virginia don't forget to smash that like button that notification bell Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.